Okay, Manufacturing 2. Today is a very simple day. We are on Edmentum or Play-Doh, whatever you like to call it today. So let's just go through it. All right. So when you click on the Manufacturing tab, what you're going to see is what you're familiar with seeing. Please complete the check-in document. Hopefully you clicked on this to get to this video here. And then if we look in the assignments or the modules, you're going to see the most recent assignment or active assignment, which is the unit one manufacturing regulation and safety. Now this is just a link here. It might be a picture, but it's going to bring you to the tutorial. Hopefully again, this is just my, what mine does. Yours might be a little bit different. And you're going to go over this content for the manufacturing safety and regulations. Now, getting into this stuff, safety is going to be something that we hit hard on because we're going to hopefully get back in the lab and start uh, working as soon as we can, as soon as we're back. So this is part of that. Um, this has to do with a lot more um, safety in the workplace as well. So when you go through that, Look to see safety management and things like that. Um, it talks about OSHA here, Occupational Safety and Health Act, and some other things that are involved with like regulating the workplace. Okay, talks about lockout tagout looks like, or this is a something that would is super beneficial to understand when you move into the uh, workplace, manufacturing workplace. Okay, so it says conduct online research and discuss the. Uh, Industrial Accident of Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company Houston Facility briefly describe the accident and failure that led to the accident and what could have been done to avoid it. So go ahead and look at this one. It's kind of interesting to actually look at real life accidents at Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company in Houston. So take a look, do a little research and fill out just some information. Again, this could be two sentences about the accident and then a link for the source. A lot of these activities can be done like that. Okay, we're going to be talking about machinery and equipment here. Again, this stuff is geared towards like your job if you become if you work in manufacturing, whether you're regulating these or you're abiding by these things, um, it's all part of manufacturing here. So, different things involved with this. Looks like a potential uh, hazard here from electrocution potentially. Not not that those people are doing anything wrong, but just to be aware. Uh, other things going on there, again, I just want to look for these activities, making sure there's not uh, something that's on there that I don't want you to do and you have to, you're have you spending a lot of time doing. Okay, PPE, or prote uh, personal protective equipment, has gotten a lot of uh, screen time or, role play, or uh, in the news because of all the masks that we have to wear for COVID, but protective equipment has been used all the time in manufacturing, so... What do we use? What don't we use? This is one of those up in the air, like right here. This person's obviously using an angle grinder right here. I know that Mr. Shellhart, and I'd say myself, I just work against having your gloves on. It's just something to be caught in rotation. Uh, some people are for it. Some people are against it with the angle grinder. But more in cases than not in the lab, you know, if it's not dealing with something that's direct heat, like welding or in the foundry, then we're not going to put gloves on. But this person has them on. Um, I'm sure with certain types of metal, maybe that you do wear gloves because again, you're creating like uh, metal shards when you do that. Obviously, we have things with the breath. We have answers to questions here. All right, this says the coal mining industry is one of the biggest industries in the world. In spite of having modern extraction techniques, the mining industry faces several accidents every year. In the United States, it is considered to be the second riskiest industry. Riskiest industry. Uh, conduct, conduct research about occupational safety and health in the mining industry. Write down of various health hazards during the coal extraction process. What are the possible causes behind these accidents? Discuss the protective gear one has to carry while working in deep coal mines. Also discuss the federal coal mine health and safety act. So it's talking specifically with the extraction process uh, if coal and what are some of the dangers around that? 
you can go ahead and do that too, the activity one. Again, it's two sentences, find an article, find a video, uh, but look at it, read it or watch it, and then give your own summary in your own words. <laughs> so these aren't that bad, those two things. Talk about handling hazardous material. You've seen signs like this before. Some questions here. Um, yeah, this one's kind of fun, I guess. Discuss the precautions that workers must follow in a nuclear power plant. Go ahead and look at that too. Go ahead and try to attempt that one as well. So there's three, and I do want you to try all three of them. Um, they're not that bad. They're just research on certain accidents, um, certain safety things. This nuclear power plant might be kind of interesting. I don't know a lot of those ones, so I assume there has to be something with radiation. All right, and that's it. And after that, you do the mastery test. And that's it for today. Besides past assignments to get those completed, uh, the new one that's for today is Manufacturing One, Regulation and Safety. So complete that. That's on Admentum. We're good. Have a good weekend.